Welcome to Unprint Shop. Uh, today we'll see what is Template Property Master and how to create it. In this video, we are going to take a look on uh, types of properties, template properties, how to create property masters and how to assign those properties to the particular templates and how to manage the property master. So let's dive into it. So here when uh, your customer opens uh, the template on the front store and when he clicks on any of the text uh, field he will have all these 44 fonts that you have uh, given to him or you can upload more fonts from your side. We have given you the complementary 44 fonts to use on your HTML5 Designer Studio. Now let us assume uh, there is an instance that you don't want your customers to have all those all these fonts you want to display only selected fonts and the selected colors over here so in that situation uh, you can restrict the fonts uh, for your customers to open in this particular template right so the so in that case you can create a template property master and for that you have to go to template and in that you click on template property master and there are different types of property that you can create such as fonts, color, images etc. Now here we have already created few properties now let us just create a new one. Click on add and we'll create a property first for fonts right. So I'll create a simple fonts property and this can be used for uh, retailers or for all the corporates I'll select all of them so here I'll select the type of the property that is fonts now here I have to select all uh, or few of the fonts which I want to offer to my customers for a particular template or templates I'll select this one this one and I would like to have a wheel arrow and arrow. These four fonts I would like to offer to my customers and create a template property for that. So I have created one and I will click on save and back. So the property is created and the name is sample fonts. Now I have to use this property or the bind this property with a particular template or other number of templates. So I will go on to the product template and I will use the template that we have created this is the one so I will go in here click on action and will click on manage template properties so here the template property is available you can select the fonts and click select on template property type now here the list of property which you have created will be populated you can select the one now if you select the template and here click on fonts the fonts that you have made available for that property it will be displayed over here so we have created sample fonts and these four fonts we have selected over there and now I will click on save so as soon as I click on save and when my customers on the front store opens that template in his designer studio and now if he selects any text he will have only four fonts that we have mined with this template so we have created a template uh, master property which we have mined with this template and now these four fonts will be displayed on the front store for this particular template now this will work only with the particular template that you use you can use this template property master with any of the templates and I have used for this one okay now the same way we can have the color combination color combination property so let us go again and click on save and back or we can directly jump onto the template property master and let us create color kind of property okay. 
so we'll click on add again and we'll select the name as sample color I'll again can create for all retailers and for all corporate types users now suppose this one when I uncheck this so this property will not be uh, applicable for the corporates so if you want to select or create a property only for significant or a specific corporate then you can go and select a specific corporate from here and if I select this one this corporate then only this uh, template property will be available for this corporate templates so this is how you can create a specific property for specific corporates now let me select for all select the type of the property as colors and then when I select the colors the CMYK and the digital font digital color will be available click on add I have created one click on here click on add create it the second one I would like to have the green whatever color combination you can add you can change this also from here also you can make these changes click on here and it will create a property so four colors I have selected and I will click on save and back so now another property of color I have created and this property I can use with any of my templates so now again I'll go and first of all let us check how many colors I can have I can have full color palette of the colors available so I now want to restrict my customers to select only few color options so in that situation I'll go again into templates on which I want to bind this color property so I'll go in there, select the template on which I want to do that. So I'll click on action and then go to manage template properties. I'll go on to the color tab and click on template property master. I have sample color selection. It is there. Four colors are available. I'll click on save and come back. So now if I go on to the front store now and check if my template of color master property is created and binded with this template or not so I'll refresh the page and I'll click on here click on option and only four colors are available and rest is not okay so in this way we can create the template property master thank you for watching this video see you in the next video have a nice time. Take care. Bye-bye.